Yeah. 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 And so what was your work like when you were in college or when you were in school? Oh, man. Uh, bad. (laughs) 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 You know, I think another one of those big art school transitions is going from being like, you know, oh, I am the most artistic one in my friend group. Yeah, yeah. I am. I am the most artistic one in my family. And then, you know, and you're feeling like, oh, I, you know, I kind of got this. And then you meet all of the other people that were that in their own circles and you go, Oh, 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 shit. I suck. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, all throughout school, my work was just kind of, uh, weak. I, I think I, I was cutting corners a lot. I was trying to be, I don't know. I was trying to be lowbrow and kind of be quirky and whatever. And I just, you know, I, I was just not really creating any successful work. And Mm -hmm. I say this, you know, objectively, this isn't just me trying to be hard on myself or something, but truly I was not at the top of my class graduating from art school. You know, I mean, I, I held it together. Okay. And I feel like I learned a fair amount, but it was college it was art school you know we were doing funky stuff and partying and whatever and you know and you're exploring and exploring is great because that landed me where I am but you know I wasn't like really honed in to anything in particular Mm -hmm. um my college thesis project uh was a series of oil paintings and a series of watercolor paintings um, that were all like really kind of absurdist and, you know, and kind of silly and bizarre and whatever. And, um, yeah, I just kind of leaned on that, like, like, you know, oh, I just, I do quirky art, I do funny, whatever. And, uh, and it really just had no specific substance to it. Mm-hmm. So I, I realized after graduating, like real world, get a job, support yourself life fully kind of thing. I, I realized like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a very good painter. (laughs) Like, you know, I'm, I'm cheating a lot. I'm smushing things together and I'm really just trying to ride this, like, maybe the image doesn't look good, but like, oh, aren't I clever, you know? And ultimately Mm. it was just like, not, I don't know. I just kind of learned that like, that wasn't, that wasn't enough. I didn't really feel that good about that work. And I didn't, I don't know. It, it, it maybe was coming from more of a place of ego than I wanted it to. And I, I don't yeah, know. So yeah. I, since then I, <laughs> I graduated and then decided like, I need to learn how to paint better. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of the development of my style and my kind of current work and body of work and whatever, it was sort of based on me going like, okay, you know, like this has been fun. It was great. I, you know, I don't regret a moment of it, but, um, man, like if I, if I had taken those classes at a time when I was maybe a little bit more open to receiving the information, you know, or, or something like it, you know, I, I've, I heard friends of mine say this too, but like, you know, if I, if I took some of those classes I took in college now, I would have paid way more attention, man. Like I I would, I would really like, I was learning from really cool people and I was really not nearly as invested in these courses as I could have been, should have been whatever. So, so yeah, I kind of just decided like, you know, it's funny to graduate from art school and then to decide to learn how to paint, but that's kind of where I felt like I was. So I, um, shifted and, and tried to start figuring out acrylic and yada, 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 here we are. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) 